I'm in Finland. Can't believe it. See, our friends at Rapala invited us to travel and better understand the legacy behind the guy on the left there, Lori Rapala. Okay, where we start? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> where we start? Good question. Yeah, girls. Arto Nygren runs Rapala's Finland plant. He's going to walk us through the birth of a bait, start to finish. <laughs> Get it? This is balsa boot and it's uh, coming from, from Ecuador. Inside, workers cut down that balsa and feed it into these nifty machines. Now, Arto won't let us show you the details. That's wild. Yeah. But you get the point. All we know is it starts like that and ends up like this. Secret trade stuff. We are doing about 13 million per year. It's a huge number. It's about 50,000 pieces per day. Yes, 50,000 baits a day. Every lure must be perfect. Quality is very, very important thing to us. Which is why we sneak outside. Secret place, huh? See. On the other side of these doors hides Rapala's paint shop, the spot Rapala magic happens. We can't quite get in there to shoot, but Arto gives us a sneak peek. Watch this. Rapala's artists zip back and forth on special wheeled chairs. They allow crews to quickly custom paint Rapala's. Well, that was cool. Okay. Thanks for <laughs> letting good. us at least get a little peek from outside. Okay. Back in the shop. This is old fashion. Do, um, way to do it. Ladies still hand wrap foil onto floaters. That was the way 20 years ago how we did it. Next we go through the white door. Now we go to the very very secret place. R&D department. And upstairs I see a familiar face. So other colors that we can make this that's Mark Fisher on the right there, Minnesota's Rapala guy. Beside him, Yuka Sirenin, the guy responsible for many of the baits you've probably fished. Twice a year, Fish, as his buddies call him, travels here to work on the stuff you'll see in stores three or four years from now. This, this is pretty loud. I call this Rapala's holy water. Think about it. All the great baits have come through this single test tank. Well, when you come over here, you still have, you can call it the Keebler tree type of scenario. You can call it the, the little woods deal and people are running around, screwing around, getting things done. But you know what? It's still a huge corporation with a lot of focus. It does a lot of business. A lot of business best illustrated here. Oh, my gosh. The spot where partially completed Rapala's wait. I know you guys deal with it every day, so it's old hat, but <laughs> amazing. And so many. You just come here and you just go, don't change what we're doing. Keep striving to do what we do. Keep the mystique. The aura continues and uh, the magic holy land, as we call it, <laughs> still exists. And this factory is just a, a hoot. Question is, just where did these baits come from? The answer, this guy. And his story is one for the books. Here we are in the uh, assembly room. What we do here is we assemble the body by in installing the weight, the hook eye, the eye, and uh, we glue them together. As you can see here, we instead of using glue, we actually use a special liquid there uh, to melt the plastic. Uh, this basically is more effective in uh, sticking the glue, to, uh, sticking the body together. And as you can see, each individual lure is done by hand, one by one.
Okay, so we were working on the pedacle here. This is going to be released soon. Uh, it's the TetraWorks pedacle. Now that's stuck together, it's ready for the next process. Okay, here we have the water leakage test. Uh, basically, we're testing each lure, see whether there's any water leakage. Um, we place the lures in this 70 degrees water, and by uh, having hot water, the air inside the lure expands. If there are any leakages, there will be bubbles coming up. And this looks like it has passed its test. No bubbles, that means it's passed its test. Okay, here I'm at the colouring booth. Um, what we're colouring here is the Tide Vibe Slim 140. This, is, this should be released in September this year, 2011. Uh, what she's colouring now is uh, our samples for our salesmen to promote, give out the shops. And Miss Saito is our colouring chief. She's, she's in charge of the colouring section of our company and thanks to her she maintains the good quality of our uh, lure colours. Okay, we're here at the Duo's second colouring room. Um, as you can see, all Duo products will be coloured here and are coloured here. Um, Depending on the lure, the process is between 5 to 15 processes, uh, depending on the color, obviously. And as you can see, each color is done, painted, one by one, by hand. And let's have a closer look at what she's doing over here. Here she's doing a process called masking. Basically, what she does is she is painting the pattern. This color is the very popular bluegill color. It looks efficient, but with so many processes, it takes a long time. Okay, here we have the printing machine. Uh, this machine basically prints out the name of the lure on the back. And she's doing that one by one. It's done by a pretty manual process, as you can see. And this is what it looks like. This is, a, this is a finished print. And not only does this machine print the name, but also patterns such as this. Okay, here we have the duo staff quality checking each individual lure. Uh, the lure has been painted and the name has been printed, as you can see. And they quality check each individual lure and one by one and if there are any, any dust or uh, scratches on the lure, uh, they discard those lures and those that pass go on to be packed.